Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, last video, I did a fold laundry and chat with me, and you guys seem to like it, so I'm gonna do it again because I have more laundry and because I have more to say. So, if you are interested to hear what I have to say today about the topic of IVF and picking genders and Paris Hilton and what she said this week, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, you know I already got a little bit heated about this earlier this week and kind of went off, <laughs> but I decided I did want to make a video about this because I wanted to just use this as a way to spread some awareness um, about, you know, IVF and what it's really like and not just let people like Paris Hilton give people a skewed <laughs> perception of it because oh my gosh you guys okay so for those of you who may not know what I'm talking about um earlier this week Paris Hilton was on a podcast with uh I can't remember who the host is but I think the podcast is called trendsetter or something something like that so I will link the podcast below so you guys can check it out if you care to but um I just want to talk about the little snippet in that podcast where she talked about doing IVF. Paris Hilton, is, she has a boyfriend and they wanna have a family. She talked about how having a family at this point in her life, she's almost 40, having a family is like the most important thing right now to her and she just feels like she's at a place where she can do that with this new relationship. So great, cool, whatever, I'm happy for you. So the podcast host was asking her questions about, you know, like what kind of family does she want or you know like how many kids that sort of thing so she begins by saying well we want to have twins first and she was saying it so like concrete that the host was like wait <laughs> um how do you plan on doing that because that's not something you can you can really plan for and she says well we've been doing the IVF and if you are part of the IVF for infert infertility community like I am and you hear her say it like that, it just was silly to me because I don't think I've ever heard anyone say doing the IVF. I don't know, just just was silly. Um, and you guys, before I go further, I want to mention that I know it's Paris Hilton. Like we really don't need to take anything she says with a whole lot of, um, I don't know. Let's just say we take what she says with a grain of salt or just not very seriously, but I know that people will hear or read about what she was saying about IVF and whether they like her or not, it can put this different perspective of IVF into their heads and then it hurts the people that, you know, it might hurt how they view other people like in real life, normal people that do IVF for normal reasons. I don't even like using the normal word, but this is just, this is just silly. So let me keep going and telling you what she says. So she talks about how she wants twins and how not even like she wants twins. She says they're going to have twins first. And so she talked about, you know, she said, we're doing the IVF. We've been doing the IVF. And then the, the host you know, asked her, oh, how's that going? And how'd that happen? Or why'd you choose that route? And, um, and like, let's say that she actually has to do IVF because, you know, she's 39 and maybe she couldn't get pregnant on her own. I don't know. But it sounds like it was just something she chose to do because she wanted to be able to pick her, um, the genders and of her kids and have twins and all that. Um, anyway, but she said like Kim Kardashian... <laughs> introduced her to a doctor that could do IVF for her, so, um, or could do the IVF for her. Um, so I, I thought, well, of course, of course Kim Kardashian introduced her. I'm pretty sure, I honestly have not followed Kim for a long time, but I know she did surrogacy for like a couple of her babies. I don't think she had twins, but I don't know. Anyway, not the point. So the host asks Paris, you know, like, how was IVF? How did that go? And she said, well, she's done two rounds of it. And because her boyfriend is so supportive and treats her like a princess. It really wasn't that bad. Um, and you know, IVF is different for everyone. And 
for some people it really might not be that bad but when you take into all the factors that a normal person has to go through <laughs> one they're not doing it because they want to um majority of people do IVF because they have to as a way to grow their family if that's you know it's IVF or adoption you know like it's one of the options to grow your family when you can't conceive on your own so that's like hard as um you know a woman not being able to reproduce like everyone else does you have to go through IVF and all the invasive procedures that it entails and so yeah I get that it's not as hard for some people as it is for others but like when you add on also like just um you know the cost of IVF is it's so expensive and um I don't know it's like when celebrities do it it's like they obviously don't really have to worry about the financial side of it but I just wish that she would have said like if she um let's say she did like I was saying she did have to do it because she actually couldn't get pregnant on her no on her own I wish she would have like been open about that because I'm not saying that's what her reasoning is for it like I said it seems like she just did it because she wanted to but if she did it because she had to I just wish she would have I don't know it would be nice to hear more celebrities say um like be open about it and spread awareness about it but anyway I don't know she's just fueling the narrative that IVF is for rich white women it's just like unfortunate because yeah it just it sets I feel like it sets sets the community back a little bit as far as um awareness and education goes anyway so I'm sorry if I'm all over the place this is what these laundry chats are um, but yeah, I'm just really frustrated about it. I was way more heated the other day. Today I'm more like whatever. And I'm glad I waited until I was a little more calmed down to discuss it, to chat about it with you guys, because I don't know. I didn't want to be like just coming from a place of being mad about it. But to all the women out there who might be watching this and who have to do IVF like I did, and like I'm planning on doing again here in a couple months, I just want to let you know that Paris Hilton does not speak for us. <laughs> um, IVF is hard. IVF is expensive. It is emotionally, physically draining. She mentioned it as if it was like no, no big deal, really. It wasn't even a big part of her interview. Um, but I don't know. I just want you to know that I know where you're, like, I know how you feel. Um, there's a whole group of women that are part of the IVF community online that understand what it's really like. And it's really hard if you've never been through it to really understand what it's like. And, and um, I think, again, that's why I'm so bothered by Paris's comments because it just, it sets it back. It, it makes it so people who, it continues to make it so people who don't know what it's like they hear that and they're like, oh my gosh, like that's why people do IVF is to get um, the genders that they want and to get twins or whatever. And let's talk about that for a second because when you do IVF, um, it's no guarantee that you're going to have twins, especially boy girl twins. Like, yes, some people, if they do genetic testing, they can, if they would like to see, they can see the genders of the embryos that are tested. Not everyone does that. We did that and all of our embryos were girls. So if I was Paris Hilton, it sounds like she did two cycles of egg retrievals and I would have to do the same if I wanted boy girl twins because I only got girl embryos, the first egg, egg retrieval. So, which I thought was funny too, they called it egg extraction, which I guess that, that it can be called that, but I don't know. Like if you're in the IVF community, you don't really, I've never really heard anyone call it that, but anyway, besides the point, um, yeah, so I just want people to understand that maybe you're looking into IVF, I want you to understand that um, you may not get different genders in your embryos, and you may not even get that many embryos um, to transfer to. So she says in the podcast that she said, I want boy-girl twins, so IVF is the only way that that would be 100% guaranteed. I was like, 
no. <laughs> like, okay, so let's say you do get a boy-girl embryo, and then you transfer the boy-girl embryo. Doesn't mean both of those are going to take. And honestly, my doctor and many doctors I have heard have been um, pretty open about how IVF, about how twin pregnancies are higher risk, and they usually recommend that you don't transfer to embryos. So I don't know. It's just kind of silly that she's just making it sound like it's just this cakewalk and, oh, you want boy-girl twins? No problem. Just, just do this and you'll get them. I don't know. I feel like twins are such a novelty too to some people. Like, um, I've talked about this before on my channel and I have no problem. If, if you want to transfer to embryos, if you do IVF and you want to tra transfer to embryos and get twins, I have friends that have twins from IVF and like, that's totally cool. Such a blessing. I didn't necessarily want to have a hard, like, riskier pregnancy, I guess, and twins just, it sounds like a lot of work. Obviously, if one of, if we transferred an embryo and it split, that would be amazing. I would be thrilled, like, so excited to be able to get more kids than I had expected. However, to, like, purposely put the embryos, like, more than one embryo in, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get myself to do that based off of my doctor's recommendation. But if your doctor's like, oh, well, I think it might be better, this happens a lot, is where pe doctors will say, I think it might be better to do, to transfer two embryos so you have a better shot because maybe the embryos aren't great quality or whatever, um, that makes sense. But yeah, so anyway, I just want everyone who has never been through IVF to understand that people do IVF because they are desperate to grow their family and they want to experience pregnancy or um, have biological children and maybe it's the step they want to take before or you know after whenever it falls on their timeline of trying to grow their family before or after like maybe adoption or whatever IVF is just a step um, for those of us who cannot conceive on our own as easily as most people so getting to the point of IVF is usually very humbling and also you have to grieve a bit um, because you miss out on that experience of conceiving naturally and that's pretty tough. So as you can see, it is not a cakewalk like Paris <laughs> talks about. And also a big reason um, that I wanted to talk about this too is the whole um, just picking genders. I just, I know some people do that in the IVF world and that's totally fine. We um, Eric and I had even talked about it. What would, what would we do if we got, you know, different genders and would we want to do a boy first or a girl first? And we kind of talked about it, but we were like, we just would want to put in whatever embryo looked the best so that we could have the best shot. And that was always our plan. And honestly, I feel like that's most people that I talk to, that's their plan. Um, because they're not shopping around like at a boutique for a baby. Like, this is like boutique baby buying what Paris is doing. I don't know. It's just, I hate to be like this and judge her. Like, I hate sounding like this, but I just, I do it because I really want to spread awareness and um, just help educate people by talking about this. Um, and sh she can do whatever she wants. Anyone can do whatever they want, but, you know, I am going to talk about it if I feel like it needs to be addressed and I felt like this needed to be addressed. So I'm sorry if it's rambly or whatever, but um, I hope I'm somewhat getting my point across. But yeah, so that's pretty much the topic of discussion for today. I would love to know what you guys think in the comments below. We, we talked about this in my Facebook group, which I will link in the description box. I have a Facebook group called Infertile and I Know It, and we just talk about, um, we share like our experiences with fertility treatments and infertility and just, you know, what we're going through and we just, it's just another way to get support because it can be a very lonely road. So if you are feeling like you need some support, some extra love and people to rally around you, if you're going through IVF or any type of fertility treatment right now, or you're just, you know, dealing with the, um, you know, loneliness or whatever that comes with 
infertility, feel free to check out the description box below and I will have my Facebook group linked so you can go over and request to join there. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and please leave a comment down below so we can get some chatter going about this. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.